Hello guys, welcome to Repurpose My Way. I'm Shelly and we are going to be working with modeling clay today. So I've been playing around with um, some molds and some modeling clay and I am loving what it looks like. It's pretty cool. Um, I took a pickle jar and redid it into a very cool vase um, and made it look antique. And I really think it's cool. Some of the paint as I was putting the antique wax on, um, like peeled off where I was rubbing it, but I wasn't even mad about it. I was like, that looks awesome. It looks chippy and old and it was crackling a little bit and it was pretty cool. And I used chalk paint. I used the Waverly White chalk paint on it. And then I took some watered down um, antique wax and just put it on there because I didn't want it too, too dark. And I used the, um, I don't know if you saw one of my other videos that I talked about buying this and I bought it just for these things so that I could do stuff with them. Um, and so I used the bigger, the little ball one there and I put that all around and I'll insert pictures here so you can see. I really like this. So I went back on Amazon and I found more of these wilted molds and I bought some. <laughs> they're on the way, so they're not here yet. But, um, cause I'm planning on doing some more. And, uh, the one, the, I can't even remember what was on. There was, there, it was uh, very much like this, but, you know, obviously different pictures, but very cool. I went downstairs and I had this vase, um, probably Dollar Tree, I would say. I don't know. Um, don't know where it came from. Uh, I do know that being down in my craft room, it's a disaster. So Shelly's going to have to have a clean out day. <laughs> An organized clean out day. Uh, my mom gave me a couple of uh, cabinets, really huge, big, tall cabinets. And I'm going to fit those in down there somewhere. And that's going to help me get organized. We're, we're hoping. Fingers crossed. So I just take a brush and just go in. And then I don't have my plate here, so I can't bang it off. Let's see. All right. Just stuff it in that hole and then just rub your thumb across the top and it just kind of peels up what you don't need. It levels it off. And then I just push down the edges. This does take a lot more clay though, just so you know. I mean, a little bit goes a long way, but See if we can get a little more here. So if I, I also, if I have a lot, I take it and um, I kind of push it towards where I want it to go. I try to keep this um, clay sealed as well because it's, um, I don't want it to dry out, get too hard to work with. So I try to keep it sealed up in my Ziploc. This goes pretty quickly. Once I show you how to do this, um, I will uh, finish up off camera and then I'll bring you guys back when I get ready to do the flowers or the last flower maybe or something like that. And that way this whole thing isn't about me showing me making clay pearls because <laughs> it probably would get boring after a while but let's see let's get that in there let's 
So let's see. Watch that come out. Look at that. Look at that. It's like a little caterpillar. Oh, come on out, guy. There we go. Woohoo! Look at that. Pearls. Looks like pearls. So what I'm going to do is put them along the edge. So just remember, just a little. Let me get this under the camera so you guys can see over here. I'm going to lay it down so it has a little... Um, so it has a chance to stick. It's a little bit wavy. There we go. That's a little better. You can kind of play with it for a little while and then... And then it finally will stick. I hope. I hope. So there we go. Well, I'll get those all on and done. And then we'll come back and do some of the flowers together. Okay, guys. So for the sake of time, I finished up the beads around the top and the bottom. I did one flower. And then I also did the... Um, I filled in... The second flower because I'm going to do the opposite side as well but I filled it in but I thought the best part would be um, popping it out it's like the most satisfying part and then I will show you how detailed this is there we go for a second there, I was wondering if it was gonna come out. So I don't know if you can see how detailed that is. I mean, that comes out great. It comes out really good. So I'm gonna put it on the opposite side. That looks pretty good. That's close. If it's not right on, it's awful close. All right, so there, there is a pretty vase. It was plain before, and now it's very pretty. Came out very nice. Okay, we're gonna do some mineral, uh, Waverly chalk paint and mineral. Got it in a little dish here. And we're gonna start painting. I'm gonna do a quick paint job here. My other one that I did was in the white, so I thought I would do it in the mineral just to see. Playing around with colors and textures and all that. A little bit easier to paint the clay because it's about the same color. I think that's going to be really pretty. So I also, um, this is the next day, I um, was gonna go to Walmart and get some Waverly White Wax because I wanted to white wax this and I never made it. <laughs> so I decided to try using my clear wax with some white chalk paint. We're gonna see if that's gonna work. I'm not sure, I've never done it. But I said, well, since I didn't make it to pick that up, I guess we'll try it and see. This is a little bit loose. It's a little loose still. I really should go in and re-glue. Some of the beads loosening up on me.
I probably missed, missed the glue on there. This is definitely going to need two coats. So I'm going to get my heat gun and which is right here and I'm going to dry that and then I'll bring you back after um, I guess after the second coat and then we'll put on the wax and we'll see how that looks. All right, there's two coats. Um, all I can say is using the hot glue, you wanna be very careful heating your glass up or whatever you're putting your hot glue on because they started to um, loosen up. There's still a little bit, there's a couple spots. So I had to re-glue it. I don't think hot glue is the best thing. I think probably like an E6000 or a more permanent glue would be better, but um, I didn't want to break that out and get it all over the place. I thought the hot glue would work. But anyway, so I have some white uh, clear wax. I didn't have any white wax. Clear wax and a little bit of white chalk paint in here. So I'm hoping it'll give it a little tint. And I tried a little bit right here. And I don't know if you can see, but there is a little bit of a white hint to it which is great, it doesn't need to be a lot, and you can always, you know, do more however you feel like, um, you know, depending on how much white you want. But I'm gonna get started. I put two coats on this. I dried it in between each coat, and then when I put the second coat on, I tried not to um, go over it too many times in that one spot because it will reactivate your chalk paint and pull it up. Which somewhat I don't mind. Wow, we got an awful lot right there. Somewhat I don't mind, but because um, I don't mind it looking a little bit old and ragged and can see through it a little bit and stuff, but Some of you may not like that. You may just want the look without those holes in it. The worn, the worn holes in it, I should say. So you just put this all over. And it looks white now, but when I wipe it back, it'll only have a very light white hue to it. <clears throat> of course it all depends on if you mix if you mix your clear wax with some white paint. It all depends on how much white you put in it, I suppose. Make sure I get it up around the top. All around here. Hopefully I got it everywhere. You just want a dry paper towel, and I already made a, a hole there because I rubbed, because I had a spot on it. I was trying to get it off. So you don't want to rub if you can help it because it'll bring it back through. And you want it to sit down in the grooves. I think this looks kind of good if you pounce on it anyway. It looks a little bit textured. Not just a little bit, it looks a lot textured. Hopefully it's picking that up in the camera. You can see that. You can see the texture in it. Um, the other thing that I can say is when you're drying this, you're between your coats of paint, keep your paint right near. And as you're drying, you're gonna see spots that you've missed. And you just want to, um, just retouch it up as you're drying. So if you keep everything right near you, you can just do that. But I don't know, what do you think? I think I like it, I love it textured. Now from here you can dry it and leave it just with the white wax 
or you can um, also put some antique wax on it. I have some watered down antique wax. I could do that. It almost looks like concrete. So that glass went from just clear plain glass to having the pearl pearls on it, a flower on either side and painted and looking kind of like concrete, just a, like a textured, textured um, vase. All right, so I'm gonna dry this again and then the next time you see it, hopefully, unless I do something else and I'll let you know, hopefully um, I can put this uh, somewhere and have it set up for you so you can see what it looks like all done. Uh, everything that I used here as far as the molds, the paint, the um, clay, um, everything that I used, I will link them down in the um, description box below. So if you're interested in picking any of these up, they'll be there. And happy um, molding. <laughs> happy using your molds and making beautiful vases. Hopefully you guys try it. Let me know if you do. Like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, and have a great day.